Hey everyone, welcome to How Inez Rolls. I am on my way to go to Winco. Woo, woo, oh yeah. So I always get so much stuff at Winco for a very good price. So let's go right now. We're at the open bin section and look what I found. They are already pre-measured out. Oh, where was this about a month ago? <laughs> so let me see what I need. It's good news. So I'm trying to have some good sides like for meals. Um, and I'm here with Paul, so he's being most helpful. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll get some of those. And so let's see what we end up getting because we've been throwing some ideas around of some things that we can make as sides. So can't wait. Okay, so apparently Friday night at the Winco is the hopping place to be for our friends too. So we ran into some really great friends over there and they were, she was there with her husband. We we're all, his date night, Paul and I and our friends. So. That was fun to catch up for a minute. So we spent, can you believe it? I'll tell you at the end how much I spent. And maybe you guys could start guessing down below how much I spent total. Let me show you behind me. Oh, so let's see if you can guess correctly. Um, what I'm gonna do is just start unloading the bags and just telling you what we got. All right, so I picked up this family size bag, which was the exact same price of the Lay's or the, the Ruffles, um, the same price, so, but much bigger. So we're gonna have those. Um, I'll probably make some dips. I also picked up a gluten-free version of some crackers. Uh, so Paul and I have been like throwing some ideas back and forth about some great go-to meals, some good sides. We talked about making a charcuterie board, so. This will be there with uh, all these little yummies that we're gonna have. I, of course, whenever I go to Winco, I have to pick up their Girl Scout version of these cookies. So mint fudge, peanut butter uh, fudge cookies, and then they're, these are like the, the caramel delights, and they are so good, all under about $1.50 each. We picked up some nacho cheese. In the pantry, we still have a couple of bags of tortilla chips good go-to meal. I could just add some uh, taco meat on that and it is easy peasy. And I can even put some of these uh, refried beans on them. I've not tried this brand before, the Sun Vista. So um, if you have, let me know your thoughts on it. I still like to try canned refried beans every so often. Uh, so I'll give this one a try. I picked up some a uh, few cans of just corn and then a couple of cans of cream style corn. So I have a recipe of a side and it has to do with corn. So this is gonna be super good. I can't wait to try it. Uh, I got a couple more jars of our Prego. This is our favorite. These were like $1.68, which was such a good price at Winco. I picked up just um, their version of Crystal Light. These are just really for the kids. They like to have them. And whenever I make them for Ezra and I pour some in a cup for him, I always do half juice, half water. So he's even getting more water. And then I picked up, you'll see some baking needs. I just thought I'd have this on hand. I'll put this in my back pantry so that way it will be ready to go when I need it. So on to the next bag. Okay, so our next bag has some things that I need to put into the freezer. So let me show you that first. I picked up three bags of this chicken breast. It's like $5 each for about three pounds. Yes, three pounds. So, and these are actually pretty thin the, um, considering they're not like Costco size, which those bother me <laughs> how big those ones are. Um, so I just usually put these in a crock pot, easy to cook up, um, and I can just make many meals from it. I've also picked up some celery and I got some more milk just in case. Whenever I start making lots of recipes um, from scratch, I, I tend to use a lot of milk. And then I picked up some more of our favorites. So some ketchup, uh, Paul picked out this sweet teriyaki. Now this one is thick. 
Now they have a honey teriyaki that's a lot thinner. So we want to do some marinating and maybe make some teriyaki bowls. And then of course, Paul wanted just the regular barbecue sauce as well. I picked up some more onion soup because this is one of our favorites with um, to make a, an onion soup dip. So what I do is just take one out and I kind of uh, break up all the, uh, the pieces inside here, the onion pieces, so they're much smaller before I add it into the sour cream. It is so good. I just picked up a block of medium cheddar. Medium cheddar is my favorite and um, we put it in a lot of meals. I found some of these uh, gluten-free tortillas. So this is now, now the second store. I have found these tortillas and they're pretty good. And I love doing this because they are so pliable, which makes them just like regular tortillas. I'm sure they don't taste exactly like them, but they're probably a good substitution for uh, regular tortillas. So they were under $5 too. And that at the other store, it was like six or $7. So Winco again for the good price. Talking about not gluten-free, <laughs> this is my favorite flour. So every I need to buy some more because we're going through lots. And um, if I make like French bread, I use like six cups of it. So it's good to have on hand. I need to have some more in my stock up supply for sure. And then have you had these candies, you guys? These are so good. So these big chewy nerds, this is what they look like. They have that candy coating shell. It almost tastes a little bit like that nerds rope if you've ever had that. So these are fun to have around. The kids really like them too. And then I saw these. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen these in forever. So these are the chocolate Charleston chews and it says to try it frozen. I don't think I've ever had it frozen. So maybe I should try a little experiment. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had these and if you eat them from the freezer. And then I picked up some tortillas. So I'll be making some green enchiladas uh, this coming up week. So yeah, um. All right, so because Paul is with me, he's been most helpful in getting some things, like I thought more about some gluten-free items, so you'll see that. Um, I picked up this crusty cinnamon swirl breakfast, like a breakfast cake. It is so good, you guys. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't even taste like a gluten-free dessert or like a treat, but it is delicious. It's a little pricier, like $4-ish but well worth it. And another thing, I turn around the corner and Paul's got this in the bag, in the basket. These big hot tamales. Uh, these were a little splurge item. I think they were 12, you said, Paul? 11 and change. 11 and some change. So we're, we're fans of these. <laughs> so hopefully with it being so big, we won't eat them very fast. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I picked up some mac and cheese bites just to kind of keep them in the freezer and on hand. Um, also, I picked up my indulgence, this little uh, pretzel sticks with the cheese in the middle. These are so good. And I only have like a couple at a time, so it lasts me a little while. It is really good. Picked up some more uh, butter and some sour cream so we can make some of that dip. And then Jonas has been telling me he wants some more, um, some fruits and stuff. So I picked up some peaches. So I'll just gonna, I'll put these in the refrigerator and I picked up some mangoes. So we'll just keep these in the fridge. Hopefully the boys will just be, you know, when they're having, wanting a snack, they'll just go right in and grab one because it is for them. I picked up a six pack of craisins that Kobe, that was on his wish list. So. I got those for Kobe. I had Paul pick up some more of these broccoli crowns. We'll roast them at 400 degrees for 15 minutes and just have some oil, some salt and pepper on them. And then when they come out, we just douse them with some lemon juice. Not too much, more lightly, although I have done it extra heavy on one time and it was, it was a lot, but it was still good. <laughs> so, and if I don't get to doing that, I will put these in the freezer. I'll chop them up, um, make sure they're cleaned, and put them in a freezer bag. Here's a couple of freezer meals. This orange chicken is really good. It's second to um, Trader Joe's version of, of these orange chickens. There's actually more in here for about the same price, 
And actually this brand makes theirs much a little smaller, where if you're going to Trader Joe's, it, you can get a big chunk, a couple of big chunks, which my little boys are like, mm. so actually I like having these ones on hand because they're a little more uh, bite manageable. We saw this and Paul wanted to get it. Look at these yummy bacons, thick slice. And I actually have the recipe that I'm gonna use for um, with the bacon. So I'm definitely gonna cook all of these up tomorrow and then we'll get started on making a recipe with them. I just picked up a couple of these extra ground, uh, extra lean ground beefs. I like to keep those in the freezer. Good go-tos for taco or taco soup. Uh, I even make um, shepherd's pie with them. Very good. I saw these and I thought we should try them. Sweet and sour chicken. I'll just make up some veggies and rice. Perfect, easy, midweek mid meal. And then I picked up just some frozen um, raspberries because I have some vanilla yogurt back here. Hopefully I'll find it in the next bag. So let's start unpacking. All right, so I picked up a few of these. So you'll probably see another one pretty quick here, but this one is sweet and spicy. It's a gluten-free like little mini popcorn cakes. That's also a really good snack for Paul. Talking about gluten-free as well, I picked up these crackers as well, these three cheese. Um, it says they're good thins. They were right next to the wheat thins, which I think I have some of those too. So let's see how good these are. We'll let you know. I picked up some French fried onions. So if I make a chicken a casserole, which I've been doing these probably about once a week, they are so good. I think I have like a good rhythm down to make a good, um, like a casserole dish. And so I put a few of these on the top and bake it. It's delicious. Uh, I picked up these. These were like right when you walk in, like those aisle of savings. I love Gardettos. In fact, whenever I donate my plasma every month for the convalescent plasma, they uh, they ask you what snack you want as you walk out because you have to have sit down for 10 minutes or something like that. And I always pick these because they're so good to me. <gasps> and they were like under $2. So that was a good yummy treat to find. I picked up some gluten-free um, bread. We're gonna start using these more for um, more of the other boys too. We're gonna try some, some different adjustments to um, buns and just try some different things. So we're gonna try this gluten-free bread. If you've ever had the heritage, let me know. And then I picked up for Ezra and whoever wants them really, the whole wheat bread. This is Grandma Sycamore and it is so good. Just a couple packs of bacon. So you know I'm kind of, when I'm buying these like two packs, these are going to be um, kind of just a stock up a little bit. So a couple weeks in the fridge, maybe we'll have breakfast for dinner in the next week or so, a couple weeks, good to have. This is one of those meats that can sit in your refrigerator for a while. So the, the expiration date, is it's at the end of January before I even have to freeze it. And I'm pretty sure it will be gone before then. All right, so I picked up some cereal bars, these Honey Nut Cheerio ones and the Kind ones. I believe they are, and I know this is gluten-free, but I believe this one is as well. Just looking at the ingredients, um, it, does, it doesn't say it has wheat in it. And usually Cheerios are gluten-free. So that's something to, uh, good for the boys and for Paul. And because he was with me, I saw this, this gluten-free Bisquick. So I thought maybe I could use that. Maybe I could try to make some recipes up for the boys, maybe some um, corn dogs or something like that. So um, I'm gonna start doing some research and seeing what I could use this for. Picked up some um, oranges, this little tangerines. And I picked up these apples, looked really good. So um, I got these um, Red Delicious ones. But then we went around the corner and I'm like, oh, these Fuji ones look so good too. So now we have two different kinds of apples. That's fine because the boys really like them. I picked up just a few tomatoes. We're going to probably have some burgers tomorrow. So um, I'm the only one who really likes tomatoes. Oh, and here is that yogurt I was telling you about. So I'm going to serve this with some of their breakfast in the morning, put a few of those ro uh, frozen raspberries on it and um, just kind of get them having some other different kinds of foods in the morning. But I do know that they want snacks too, some little treats. So I did pick up this, this was under like $3, like $2.50 or something. So snack packs. 
I hardly ever get these kinds of things, but I thought it would just be nice to have their home, just to have a little treat. Okay, so I picked up some waters and some bananas, 24 eggs. I have been making a super yummy breakfast that involves um, just a slice of ham. You crack the egg in, put a little salt and pepper and bake it for at 400 degrees for about 13 or so minutes. Pull it out, I put some cheese on top and then melt it for about a couple more minutes. So it cooks about 15 minutes total. It is the best breakfast, you guys. And I have like two in the morning. That's been kind of my go-to now. So you'll have to try those out if you love ham and, and, and eggs and cheese. It is the best. And over here, I have some Diet Coke and I found some Diet Cream Soda. Can you believe it? I hardly ever find that. So I know the kids will like that one. I bought three bags of chocolate chips with the, the holidays here, we are baking a lot more. Here is a chocolate version of um, those little popcorn chips. Those are super good. I picked up some um, honey cornbread that's gluten-free. We're gonna try it. I have that recipe and it includes this too. I picked up some um, chicken pot stickers. This is like a small box, so it's good for a lunch, maybe um, a dinner for somebody a quick dinner. I picked up also some sugar just to kind of keep that in the back and stocked up. And then we saw these little uh, in the frozen food aisle, the onions, potatoes, zucchini, carrots. Sounds like a great combination if you ask me. I also picked up these for Ezra. He loves these uh, cheese macaronis. Uh, he's not a fan of the powder. So he has more of a refined taste. <laughs> Another thing that I picked up is a bigger box of these taquitos. So when Isaiah was here, he also ate gluten-free and he ate these a lot. So I know that these are pretty good. I'm not sure exactly if it's completely gluten-free. It might be made in a, a factory or something that doesn't just, you know, be completely gluten-free. But the ingredients are. So this is something that the boys could eat for dinner or for lunch. Picked up some wheat thins because we're gonna have a charcuterie board. So I accidentally popped it open, oops. Just picked up some more baby carrots. These are good, if not, we don't use them. I chop them up and I put them in freezer bags. So then they're good go-tos for soups and stews and casseroles. I just picked up another bag of Doritos. Um, they're good with tuna sandwiches, am I right? And then I just got a head of lettuce for our burgers. Last thing that I picked up were some bagels. We have cream cheese still in the drawer and I picked up some tomatoes. So you know I'm making one of my favorite meals, my favorite bagels with lemon pepper. If you've not had it, toast yourself up a treat of bagel with cream cheese, sliced tomatoes, and some lemon pepper let me know what you think. It is like my favorite way to eat a bagel. You guys, that is it. Finally got through everything. If you guessed $247, ah, I don't normally spend that much, but these gluten-free items are a little more pricier, but that's okay, because my cart was full. If you saw that thumbnail, we got a lot. So thanks so much for stopping by the channel. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have a Winco near you. And if not, you may be surprised. They may be starting to come your way. So have a wonderful evening. Stick around rollers because you just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye everyone.